Lahore Grammar School Poeta, Listen by Faiza Shah for Grade 7, Component is Poetry, and the topic that we are covering today is Tanka. Okay, so who invented Tanka? We discussed the topic Haiku earlier, and now we are discussing the topic Tanka. Uh, we know there were several people who came together to invent Haiku, but Tanka was known as Waka earlier, and it was reformed into uh, a poetry, a poem as Tanka. Why? Because Tanka was earlier just a one line poetry and it had 31 syllables but then it was later distributed into five lines just like haiku. Haiku was uh, haiku is divided into three lines and the same thing it is not rhymed so it is easy to uh, come up with a Tanka. So the sketch form life uh, the sketch from life form of Waka or Tanka was further developed by Saitu Mokheshi, 1882-1953. This guy lived from, he was born in 1882 till 1953, into a kind of selective realism. The original 31 syllable form was still retained as Waka were reformed in various ways and by various groups of poets who united to decide on giving in the name of it the name of Tanka. So what do we understand? Tanka is a poem. It is the oldest form of Japanese poetry. So it is even older than haiku. Tanka poems are similar to haikus. Very well. So we, it, it'll be easy for you to come up with tankas because we've already done haiku. Tanka was originally a one line poem with 31 syllables. We have, we have already discussed that. But then later it was distributed into five lines. And then uh, it was given the syllables 57577. Five, seven, seven. Tanka poems are usually about nature, love, and seasons. Same thing, haiku is almost the same. It is about nature, it is about seasons, and about love. And same thing comes here as well. Tanka poems are usually about nature, love, and season. Shows a complete picture of an event or mood. It was 1300 uh, most important form of Japanese poetry. Now, Japanese people, they are, they are very poetic. They love uh, to describe things in poetry. And that is why they are about 1300 most important form of Japanese poetry. Okay, what is Tanka? Once again, the Tanka is a 31 syllable poem, traditionally written in a single unbroken line, but a form of waka, Japanese song or verse. Tanka translates as short song and is better known in its five line that is five seven five seven seven syllable count form we all know that uh, haiku is a three line uh, three lined poetry but here this is five lined and it is divided into five seven five seven seven syllable now there are some examples of tankas here wind blowing on my face making my cheeks rosy red it's biting my nose and chilling through all my bones it is pushing me along so this is something uh, you can say it's about chilling winter season okay another one the leaves change color when the fall winds start to blow yellow orange and brown are colors of the fall leaves slowly falling from the trees so this could be autumn it is it is practically telling us about autumn then pretty colors colored trees that are orange, red, and yellow in the autumn air, an old barn by the water with a white fence around it. Right? So that is how it is done. Okay, assignment of the day. Please don't forget to share your poem with me. That is a request as well as you need to know that you send, need to send me your assignments. I loved your assignments that I've received earlier. They are wonderful. I'm proud of you all. Uh, write down Tanko on the following topics. Very interesting topic. Uh, bridges, fortune, midnight, waterfall. In order to write your own poem uh, on the given topics, don't forget to draw a picture next to your poem. I have, as I said, I'm very proud of you. All of you, I loved your assignments. Uh, keep in mind, what do we need to keep in mind while we are writing a Tanka? Same thing as what we did for haiku. If, for example, we are writing waterfall, what is the meaning of the topic? So, waterfall means that it is water falling from the mountains or height, as you can see here in the picture. So, when you are making, when, when you are doing tanka uh, or doing a, uh, for example, uh, a topic, 
when you make a picture it becomes very easy you see rocks here you see beautiful colorful plants here you see high mountains you see clouds um, what else can I see here there are probably a secret cave behind the waterfall so this is what and, and very high trees so this is what you think of when you're writing a tanka you draw a picture and then it becomes very easy for you to write a tanka so what else can you think about the uh, about the topic it indicates holidays yes we go on holidays uh, we choose such peaceful places uh, beautiful scenery what can be related to the topic uh, blue sky mountains greenery um, what else birds rock swimming height flying cape uh, bird eggs you know and how can I write a, a nest by egg I mean nest uh, how can I write an appealing poem on the on the topic you draw a beautiful picture you draw a beautiful picture and it will become very easy for you to come up with ideas the more you draw the more words will come up into your mind example by the teacher so I've got two examples for you there is one waterfall the other is midnight midnight in the woods nearby everything's blue and black those smallest of sounds must be coming uh, night counting her children waterfall waterfall is blue like the sky up so high too birds flying around waterfall covering the cave secret lies inside mountains well stay home stay safe till we meet again and this is your assignment for poetry i hope i receive your poetry assignment soon so that i can enjoy all your poems um, for you to cherish this poetry book for a lifetime you need to make it very neat and very clean and make it very colorful. Thank you and bye-bye.